<laughs> Apparently shipping two copies of Wanted Seeker of Sinful Spoils for $141.25 is too difficult for the modern person. TCG player rant again. I'm so sick of this garbage. We're going to have to bust out a beer for this story. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your host with the most Avery LR32 here. Destroy the ever-living Bud Light boo-boo. Oh, wait, no, not Bud Light. Blue Moon boo-boo stain. The Blue Moon boo-boo stain has a little bit of radioactiveness in it. As we climb even higher, the storytelling ladder don't overflow. Please don't overflow. And my beer just overflowed. That's a great way to start the video. Anyways, enough of that. Ladies and gentlemen... I am so sick of TCG Player. So, once again, we have another story time. So, buckle up, sit back, relax, don't let your beer or coffee overflow on you. Back when the ban list came out on the 15th of April, I decided to be like every other chicken with their head cut off in this community and try to go buy cards, like, while everybody else was crapping their pants trying to get cards, right? Like, it was so bad. I was trying to order wanted, and they kept disappearing out of my cart. I couldn't get fire, uh, snake eye stuff quick enough. Not fire king stuff, but snake eye stuff. I couldn't get quick enough. I was able to secure three black witch. I tried to buy three wanted from two different sellers. The first seller only had one copy. I bought one. He messages me, cancels the order, and says, hey, I'm sorry, this already got sold. I'm like, okay, that's fine. I understand. I then buy two wanted for like 50 bucks a piece or whatever $141.25 after shipping and taxes comes out to. I buy two wanted from this guy. And I ended up messaging him like the night of the 15th because I've never bought cards the day that a ban list has come out. And so I got kind of worried with the other seller telling me, hey, this already got sold and then had to cancel my order and give me a refund. So I was like, let me just... Now that I put in my order, and even though I got the order confirmation, let me just message this seller to make sure, like, everything is okay. Like, it didn't get sold out from under me or whatever. And the reason why I also wanted to do this was because I've heard stories from, like, other people on YouTube, mcool 40 stuff like that, where you have some dickhead sellers where something like a ban list drops, in the case of Yu-Gi-Oh!, and instead of them going through with the sale, they'll cancel your order. So for example, like let's say right now Max C's are like $20 out of the You Say Legendary Collection or whatever. Let's say for example, Max C came back and people started swiping up Max C's for $20 a piece. Well, what some sellers will sometimes do, unfortunately, is that they'll cancel your order and refund you and take down their listing. So then when the card goes up to, let's say, 60, 70, 80 bucks, they'll relist it for $80 so that they don't miss out on that profit. It's a really scumbag thing to do. And at least from what I can tell, there's not much you can do on TCG Player about it. Uh, from what I, as far as I know, you can't like rate a seller unless like you shop through them and like get an order from them then you can like rate that specific transaction so like if they cancel your order and give you a refund and then relist the card you can't like give them a one star and like a zero percent feedback and say oh he canceled my order and relisted it as far as i know you can't do that even if you can it doesn't really fix the fucking issue because not everybody is going to look at a seller's feedback unless like they just have dog water feedback like we're talking like below i would say 98 percent like anything below 98 i'm kind of timid to shop from unless like they have like 10,000 plus sales then i'm like okay like even 5,000 is like okay you're you're kind of pushing the limit but like 10,000 plus you're good this particular star i don't remember how many sales he had but he had 100 percent feedback anytime someone has 100 percent feedback you could have done five sales if you have 100 percent feedback i'm happy so I ordered two wanteds from this guy. I messaged him the night of the 15th after the markets kind of calmed down. I'm like, hey, a new Yu-Gi-Oh! balance just came out. I want to make sure that my order went through. And I, I was patient this time, you guys. Like, I had some people tell me, like, Avery, you weren't patient enough with the um, the Trident Dragion order when we bought that for $82 and, like, orders in the past. Some people told me, Avery, you need to give him a few days. You need to be patient. I gave this motherfucker three days. Three days. And I never even got a shipping confirmation. But, by God, I got my Black Witches before he ever shipped the cards, and I'm still waiting on my SP Little Knight that I got for 98 before that shot up. I also bought that on the 15th. I got shipping confirmed with tracking. Like, I don't understand why it's so difficult. Like, if you're going on vacation, or, like, if you're in the hospital, like, something, God forbid, like, you have cancer or something like your boy, right? You can take down your seller, like, profile, like... 
uh, I've seen like in the past, like people will try to like buy cards. Hell, I've tried to buy cards. And like I see, oh, $5 for this card. And I click on it, add to cart. And then it'll say, oh, this seller's um, profile is offline. So like you can take down your profile offline if like, I don't know, you can't ship out two copies of a fucking $50 card. Like, I don't know why that's so hard. <laughs> so I ended up, I tried to go through the TCG player bot. I, I got to take a sip of beer for this. Jesus Christ, y'all drive me mad on out here. Y'all got me fucked up. <laughs> so I go through the TCG player bot, and the bot's like, give the seller a little bit more time. I'm like, bitch, it's been three days at this point. It's the 18th. It is yesterday <laughs> that I'm typing in the little chat box on the bot with my order number to figure out what I can do. And the chat bot is like, give, give the seller more time. How long of time do you need to ship out a card? And it's not like one of those things where it's like, oh, Avery, it might be an OTS store. Like they do all their shipping out on a Friday. The 15th was like before the, the that upcoming weekend. So like you didn't ship it on Monday. Like this is three days that went by that you had the chance to ship it. Were you going to wait until this upcoming Friday, which is today, the 19th to ship my card like we're four days removed from when i initially sent you a message why did you not respond to said message and say hey sugar boo bear i'm going to ship your card friday it is not that fucking hard <laughs> like am, am i am i the asshole here like am, am i the insane one who like just happens to get dog shit luck when i shop on tcg player now like i used to have phenomenal people on tcg player i remember like i would buy cards left and right i would never have any issues and now it seems like ever since covid ever since like all of that stuff went down it seems like the sellers are just dog shit on tcg player you can do tcg player direct I understand that, but similar to like if you buy from a specific card store, like say Super Games Inc., I used to do all my shopping through Super Games Inc. years ago before I understood TCG Player. Super, uh, shops like Super Games Inc. and TCG Player Direct are going to upcharge because you're getting that, I guess, guaranteed service to get that card. Um, so like, for example, if I wanted to get wanted right now, I looked at it before I started recording. If I went through TCG Player Direct, you're talking like $70 when the usual market price is like $52 right now. And I'm just like, I'm flabbergasted. On top of that too, like the typical issues of listing Japanese and Korean cards, some dumbass listed an Asian English wanted for like $40. I'm like, you're out of your fucking mind. Like if you buy that, you're screwing yourself out of money. So like you still have those issues, but that's like its whole thing on its own. But to go three goddamn days without responding to my message, I don't understand why this is so difficult. And it's not like it's hard to like find out, oh, hey, I have a message on TCG Player. You get a fucking email whenever you get a message. I get an email when I get a message on TCG Player. When I sold like a playmat on eBay a couple months ago, I got a message when, or I got an email when I got a message. Someone wanted to know if I could ship it to Israel, which eBay doesn't let you right now because of what's going on. But I'm like... How is this difficult? Like, I, I know that not everybody has the time, but three goddamn days, everybody. Like, that's what I really want to hit home here. And it was two cards. It's not like I bought a whole bulk box and, like, he's got to go to UPS store to figure out the shipping. Like, no, it's two cards. You slide them in a sleeve. You put them in a top loader. Put some tape on that bitch. Like, go to Home Depot, get you some fucking tape for $1.50 and ship the card. Like... I don't know why this is so hard. <laughs> Am I just forever doomed to get dog water service on TCG Player? I love the fact that, uh, see, what I do is I skirt the system too because I'm tired of dealing with that chat bot. I have emails saved from when I've had to message TCG Player directly when they have to get involved. So I have like their email on fucking speed dial anytime I'm tr trying to wait on getting a refund. Screw waiting for the sellers at this point. Like I'm dead serious about this. Don't wait on the sellers to like give you a refund because they're just apparently going to take their sweet fucking time. Save the email where like TCG Player gets involved. I think it's like seller at tcgplayer.com. Don't quote me on that. Look it up for yourself. But it's something like seller at something tcgplayer.com. That is the direct customer service email to TCG Player to where you can email them and say, here's my order number, here's the situation, they never ship the cards, I want my $141 back. Like, this isn't like a $5 order. This is almost $150, like, that is just 
going out into the wind like a fart in in the middle of summer and just non-existent like that that's the other thing that blows me away this isn't just like an order for like i don't know the decisive battle of goganda like i'm playing stun which is literally like a penny on tcg player this is nearly 150 dollars like what if you buy into the stock market do you just crap out 150 dollars and just think it's in there like i've got my portfolio somewhere pimp like no absolutely not like especially in today's economy where inflation is coming out the ass like <laughs> this almost 150 dollars and you're not gonna respond to my fucking email i should be at the top of your priority list like assuming that you're not like in a hospital or like getting cancer treatment or like I don't know, even if you're on a cruise, like, you pay for Wi-Fi at that point. I don't give a damn where you are. You respond to my message. I want to make sure that my $150 order got shipped. Bruh. Oh, my God. Like, I'm so done with TCG Player. I'm going to have to start, like, buying shit on eBay or, like, buy, paying, like, the extra for shipping and tracking. And, like, give them, I'm giving people two days. If I'm buying shit from you, you got two days to ship out my stuff. And if you don't respond to my message, I give you a total of three days because I'm going to message you on day number two. By day number three, I want a refund. I'm not even dealing with your shit. I hate that I have to do this, but I'm like, I'm so sick of this crap. I want to be able to order my cards, especially because it takes like two to three weeks sometimes to get shit in the mail from TCG Player at this point. That if I'm going to a regional, I need to know I'm going to have my shit. Like, I'm not playing this game. Oh my God. I, I need a Xanax. I need about five more beers. I, I need an enema. I, I need, I need counseling. I need therapy. 